hope everybody's having a phenomenal week. This week for me has been all about expanding and learning and growing on different levels. I uh, have some really positive things going on. So, you know, the key to life is being able to adapt to change. Change is the one constant. When you understand that, you move properly through life. No matter whether it's personal, professional, or otherwise, financial, there's a thing called change. And if you not are not flexible enough to move and flow with that, you will be broken. So that's basically where I'm at. I am in the middle of changing my business model. Uh, it's a lot of things. It's not even a lot of things going on. It's just that, you know, I am really big about customer service. I'm really big about serving the clientele and the brand. But I, I'm really clear that I need to make sure that I target uh, a specific customer that falls in that, uh, in that scenario. And I've been lucky so far. Um, a little, a few bumps here and there around uh, through the world, but the key is to always be straight up and honest with people and be very clear. Um, I've been able to develop a partnership with uh, Neil because I had to work on a customer's oven and I couldn't find access to things because it's a German company and they do things a little differently. And so I was able to communicate with their corporate division here in the United States, set up a service partnership with them and a provider relationship. But that again is a specific clientele. So it's getting to be real interesting to the point where I'm very clear that I'm moving into another realm and that I have to move be very, you know, I thought I was strategic before about my moves. Oh, I'm super strategic now. You're going to see me quiet down, chill out, all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, when you're walking in certain arenas, uh, you're going to be inspected from every angle. And, you know, I believe in being real and authentic, you know. But that doesn't mean I have to be loud, crass, or rude and to, to exert who I am. You know, a lot of times I give people one uh, viewpoint of me because I'm throwing them off the game, for real. I want them to think whatever uh, stereotypical thought process they have, I just use it against them. You know, you, you know, they will lump certain people, a group of people, stigmatize them, and then they lose the opportunity of meeting some of the most brilliant minds in the world and teaming up with them. And for me, it lets me know what their mindset is, and I decide whether I want to do business. And if I do do business, will it be limited contact in order to protect myself, my brand, my image, and my thought process? You know, that's the whole thing is that people do not expect you to think in business. And when you think, and particularly when you have a business acumen that you think on a le level that others don't, and that's simply because I had to get it out of the mud, as the kids say. You know, I had to build my stuff from nothing, whether it was professional or whether it was, you know, business in my career life. I had to start at the very bottom. You know, if you could go lower than the bottom, that was me. And that was because they didn't want to let me in the door. And it's okay, though. It was a journey. And I, I don't really regret it because at the end of the day, I'm tough as nails. Like, stuff that other people that I go up against, people be like, how did you not falter and fail? Well, Failure is not an option. I was talking to one of my little brothers out of ABC, and you know, he told me that he cannot fail. Like, that's our belief. We cannot fail. You know, we are accustomed to playing the quote unquote black tax. You know, and people hate when you throw that, uh, those race situations in there. But at the end of the day, this is the real world. You can't help how you showed up in the world, but do you have the tool and the skill set and the mindset? to overcome whatever the world may throw at you. Because I don't think any of us showed up in these packages without the tools and equipment to get it done. The key is uncovering the treasure in your life, your mind, and your spirit, and your lineage, and your ancestry, and pulling on those things and excelling anyway. You know, because at the end of the day, while people walk around with blind spots, those of us who've had to face unknown adversity 
We don't have no damn blind sense because we looking, we got about 20 eyes. We looking left, right, up, down, back, forward, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I don't regret any of it, you know? I don't. I'm tripping because I'm watching this big old uh, salamander, whatever y'all call them, looking like Anna, whatever. Straight out the jungle trying to cross the turnpike. It's hilarious. Bro, don't do it. Not going to make it. But anyway, all BS aside, um, you got to realize as you elevate, the air is going to get thinner at the top. And you're going to have less and less comrades because most people can't get to that level. And it's not that they don't have the ability. They're not willing to give up what you got to give up to get there. You know? You're going to have to give up the play play. You know, like when I was sitting there crushing, squeezing my brain this morning with those uh, meal schematics for that oven, I was like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? But I loved it because it was a challenge. It keeps me sharp. It keeps me on point. And I need to be able to understand that, particularly if I'm going to excel in the industry. I got to go do what other people don't want to do. And I got to build my own niche. That's just the name of the game. There's no other option. And I'm clear about that, you know? So, man, it's been an interesting week. And it's been a very quiet week. You know, I've had jobs, but I, my whole deal is whatever loose ends I got, I've been just trying to fix those. That's what my focus is. I cannot do the drama, man. I don't know why people calling me right now. I'm in the middle of this. I am not answering that. But uh, you better make sure you're taking a real good 360 view of your life. Because if you want to do business and really be successful and be at the point where you can package the company, sell a portion of the company, if that's what you want to do. Everybody talking about, oh, I would never sell. Let me tell y'all something. Most people sell to go to the next level. You know, I mean, you build a brand, an image, and a service that other that everybody else won't. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I didn't start out trying to do that. The only thing I was trying to do is deliver a service, you know, build my client base and have a specific clientele. That's all I was trying to do. And along the way, a lot of things showed up. So right now, like I said, I'm just in uh, chill mode. Still sharing my June journey with you guys, but being really subdued about it because I'm here to tell you. I'm going to keep saying it. Favor is not fair. It is not fair. There are some people who are going to get past the gate and some people that ain't. And those of y'all that's trying to bring these people with you, I cannot continue to tell you sometimes that door is only open for you. It's about this big, bro. That means it's only you supposed to slide through that door. You know, whatever is for you is for you. That is a specific vision given to you. And don't get mad when other people don't understand it. I don't, you know, at this point, I don't even talk to people. I just kind of like, woo. I don't think what they want to think. And when and the people I talk to, they reveal themselves of being capable to nurture and help me with those vision, with my vision. But they reveal themselves before I reveal it. You know, they support me. They want to see me do well. They are always in my corner. If I'm having a rough patch or a rough space, they are always uplifting. That's how you know when that's your team. Man, but those people that be telling you to bow out, give up, if it's too much, let me tell you something. Somebody said something to me the other day about if it's too much. Boy, I'm still not talking to them because I don't believe in that. I don't believe in anything being too much. What I believe is that you have to come up with a way to come out of yourself. The only limits we have is what we put on ourselves. You got to realize if man made it, you can fix it. The key is you got to balance whether you're willing to pay the price, buy the parts, and to give up the time to do it. You know, I found out some serious things about myself this week, and I'm going to own that. You know, and I'm okay with it because I'm very clear. I'm very clear we all got flaws. But I'm telling you retrospection is serious. You got to sit back and look at yourself, review things, and, and really be clear because you don't want to be going in a circle. 
I don't want to be killing myself next year this time. I really don't. So I have decided I'm just going to work on my high-end jobs, put my finishing touches on them, build my team around that clientele, and it's a wrap. Because I have to go where the bu where the budgets are. And unfortunately, you know, there is a limit of skilled technicians who are able to work on certain products. And what most Americans don't understand, that these products are invading your market if they haven't already. And if you don't understand or have a global perspective when it comes to work, business, then you're going to be stuck. You know, all this Make America Great Again, hey, I'm all down for America being great because I live here. But, you know, we got to have a global perspective because America had the blessing of the rest of the world trying to pattern themselves behind us and the luxuries we have and the disposable income we have. But along the way, there were some mistakes made, and, and that's just life. The key is, are you going to step in that gap and make sure that you're not in those numbers? of those who are left behind, you know? You cannot bring everybody with you, and I can't continue to repeat that, man. Is there people who sacrifice just so I could be able to have these conversations, just so I'd be able to be able to drink from a water fountain? I appreciate that. I realize I'm standing on the shoulders of, of, of women who have sacrificed, men who have sacrificed, people who didn't look like me who have sacrificed. And at the end of the day, you gotta understand this is not a game. All this stuff y'all take for granted here, all these liberties, all these opportunities, then you spit on them and don't even take advantage? Man, that's just stupid as hell. I'm just calling for what it is. But at the end of the day, those are your choices. Just don't come begging me for nothing. Because I can't help you. You feel me? I'm trying to get me. And I'm telling you, I see that mess every day. Every day. And everybody know, don't come to me with the okie doke. You better, hey, if you got a question for me, you better have done all the work before you got to me. And when you get to me, I'm going to give you some gems. Now, what you do with them gems is you. If you don't use them, I'm going to know. And don't come to me again because I'm like, look, I'm not wasting air with you. Shoot, I'm trying to get me. And I'm real about it. I don't play with it. Time, I can't get that back. You know, none of us have enough hours in a day with all the responsibilities and the goals we have. So me shaving off a little time to holler at you, you know, be grateful. There's a select group of people I talk to. You know who you are, and I support you in every endeavor. And you never call me unless you really need something. And I respect that. Thank you. But whatever you need me, if I'm available, I'm there. And people who have talked to me, they can attest to that in the comment section, that Miss Ward got your back all day because that's just how I'm built. But with that said, I'm going to wrap this up because I need to wrap my mind around the project I'm getting ready to walk into so I can knock that out, then go to the next, then go to the next, then go to the next, then go to the next. You feel me? So that means I got to transition out of this philosophical mode to technical focus. You know? And those are, that's just something you got to understand. If you are, particularly those of you that's trying to do this by yourself, you go wear a lot of hats, so you better know how to transition into those areas because when you walk into a customer space, you can't be, your thought process can't be on one thing because the only thing they see is a tech. They don't realize that you own the company or this, that, that they don't realize none of that. You know, the only thing they realize is that you're supposed to be there to fix their appliance and they are the, they should be the priority. These are facts. So with that said, if you guys have gotten anything out of this, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. And I appreciate those of you who follow me through the journey and the transition. I really appreciate it. Thank you for everything. And have an outstanding day. Also, enjoy your weekend, y'all. Be blessed. All right, solid steppers. Y'all better get to stepping. Have a great week.